Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for the final, the bold and beautiful review for January 2023. And before we get into the review, I just want to apologize for last week's review. It was really crappy. I was just in a very bad mood last week, and um, yeah, the episodes didn't really help me be in a better mood. Rocky, leave that alone. Leave it alone. And now Rocky wants to act bad. He was peaceful through my other two reviews, but now he wants to act up. Anyway, so didn't want to say that. And um, thank you for watching if you did watch. And um, I promise this was better. <laughs> uh, my week was a little better. Still stressful, but um, I enjoyed the episodes this week. Uh, it was good that they weren't focusing just on one storyline. Um, and um uh, anyways and also um then we got to see Zenday and Paris and Eric so it was good to see some different characters and Thomas came back so that was good too and I'm not going to believe this but I took notes yes that's right I took notes on what happened this week so I remember and I'm really good at that <laughs> <laughs> and it also helps that I watched Tuesday through <laughs> yesterday's episodes last night when I was doing my hair. See, I did my hair <laughs> and I saw my grace. Um, I, I didn't have the energy to dye my hair also. So <laughs> say that for another day. But a hairdresser did say that my grace look really good. So I was like, oh, but now I'm never going to get carded again. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, okay, that's what my, that was my setup. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna start by talking about um, Bill Sheila book stuff that happened on Monday's episode. As we saw at the end of Friday's episode, Brooke went to go tell um, went to go talk to Bill to talk some sense into him since he didn't listen to anybody else, and she's like, "Oh, Bill, he really loves my cute show. I'm gonna go talk to." him anyway so she's like um you know basically she's telling them Sheila's using you and um but oh uh, that's basically a summary of what she was saying I didn't write out everything she said but Sheila was listening to the background and she came out and she um she brought up how Brooke you know allowed Ridge to come between um Ridge go back and forth back and forth with her, um, and Taylor for four years, so, basically, shut the fuck up, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm glad Sheila did say that, definitely, um, so, basically, Brooke was mad, <laughs> she's like, oh, so, Bill, you gonna let Sheila talk for you, and, you know, because he was just standing there all quiet and stuff, and, so, he just came out and said it, he's like, you, um, you and Katie, you know, broke my heart, I put my heart on the line, and y'all stomped all over it. And Sheila loves him and understands him for who he is. And so, he's going to stick by her. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, Brooke's like, well, I'm not going to stop until Sheila's rotten in prison. And I'm like, bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I can this relationship but I still think that um I still well I was still thinking that Sheila was is really using Belle but you know she really likes Deacon especially since they had scenes um this week um Deacon had bought the restaurant I know I'm still trying to figure out how how does he afford to like um I don't know where'd he go there was it Italy or somewhere he went to look for investors and stuff. So I wonder who these investors are that um joined with him for his um buying. El El Gardino? Did I pronounce that right? I found I finally I Googled the name. I was like, I heard him say it over and over again this week, but then I was like, I forgot what it was. <laughs> yeah, so I just Googled before I started the video. I was like, what's the name of this restaurant? Yeah, and I came up with all the reviews for this week, and apparently people are not really happy that Deacon had um bought El Gardino, El Gardino. 
So it's like it sounds like a fancy um, Italian restaurant, and he's changing it to Deacon's Place. It's like, <laughs> like oh wow. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be serving pizza, and I'm like, I did, were they serving pizza before or? I don't know. He's gonna turn it into a pizza joint, you know. You gotta have pasta too. But anyway. Oh. I took notes and I used my um microphone. So I'm like, what am I writing? But I was like, whatever the name it is, Italian restaurant, question mark. <laughs> um, but she told him about um total hope. I left that part out. Hope goes <laughs> to Deacon, see Deacon, and, um, you know, fills him in on Bill and Sheila, and he can't believe that Bill could have feelings for anyone besides, um, feelings for anyone besides arrogance, what? Oh, could have feelings for anything besides arrogance, okay. I wrote it down right, I just, I said it right, I, I just can't read, um, <laughs> Um, but Hope's like, you know, if Sheila contacts you, then, you know, ignore her, basically. And I'm like, Hope, your daddy has been hanging out with Sheila for the last few months. Um, uh, room and board, um, banging her, letting her taste his magic stick. So, you're a little, like, to the party there, girl. <laughs> but Sheila went to go see him, and I'm like, oh! Yeah, Deacon was trying out pizzas, and none of those pizzas look good to me. Uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. They look kind of burnt, <laughs> honestly. And now I want some pizza. Buy a pizza last week. Oh, I'm getting off subject. And <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, she tastes this pizza, and she's like, hmm, more garlic, basically. I'm like, I love garlic. And I don't know why I said that. Anyways, she... <laughs> She congratulated him on owning the restaurant. He's like, well, I should be congratulating you um, for getting out of prison like you said that you were. <laughs> All right. Of oh, staying out of prison. Um, <sighs> Wait until I start push playing and he wants to act up. Go take it out. <laughs> yeah, and she was just talking about how her and Bill um came about, you know, because he was like, you know, you know, how did you have time with Bill? You were staying with me. She's like, oh, she saw him at the bar one um day and followed him to the beach, and they stayed at the sunset and talking. And Deacon's face like, uh, what? <laughs> um. Oh, she had a flashback of their dance. And I was like, I know she had a flashback of them, uh, Deacon. She had a flashback of her and Deacon having a dance. Like, oh, so cute. <laughs> so Deacon just flat out asked her, you know, how much do you, are you, do you love him? Or how much you like him or whatever? And how much are you using him? Uh, she says that she does love Bill and that she wants to have a future with him. And, you know, of course, you know, Deacon had to talk about how shitty Bill is. Arrogant, asshole, millionaire. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah, and he pulls Sheila, um, Deacon pulls Sheila into a kiss and she's like, that can never happen again. She's not going to risk what she has with Bill. And I'm like, this is so wrong. Deacon is the one that helped out Sheila, you know. But I guess because Bill has the money to help keep her out of prison. And Deacon just owns a really fancy restaurant. And I want some pasta. And, but, um, she, and now I think about it, what time of the day was that? Because that restaurant looked hella empty. So I'm guessing that was like a breakfast, maybe. But they were tasting out pizza. <coughs> but I heard pizza is good for breakfast. I don't know where I read that at, but I'm sticking to that's what I read one day. 
Anyways, I, I've done that before. Anyways, I keep talking about pizza. I'm hungry. Anyways, yeah, it's afternoon and I haven't eaten. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, Finn comes out of the blue. All of a sudden, everybody's at those people at the restaurant. And Finn comes out of the blue, basically, to tell Sheila that she's not going to be part of the family. I'm like, yeah, Finn, you already made that clear. But Sheila is. She's like, oh, we can still make through, make this. We can still work on this, basically. Did I write down what he said? Oh. No. I guess. Oh. Sheila makes it clear that she would never be part of his family's life. She believes that they can work it out eventually. Mm. Shares him. What? I don't know. But anyways... Yeah, Katie showed up at Bill's place. And I'm like, again, she just walks through the door. <laughs> I'm like, Bill really needs, Bill really needs to invest in locks. <laughs> but apparently he has a guard there, so I guess the guard, like, knows that Katie's cool to go up there. But, you know, she's trying to, you know, get through to him again about Sheila. And, um, of course, Sheila comes home and she's like, listening in on him so another friday with her listening to bill talk to one of his exes <laughs> so you know Kay's like you know you know what is our son gonna think about that and bill's like um that his daddy's happy <laughs> but um oh um okay it's just like you know you have to get rid of him so we could be a um you know it was best for their family or something along those lines and so then he gets the idea it's like so you're saying if Sheila goes to prison we could be a family again so I'm like uh oh what did you do Katie <laughs> so it's like that's kind of like the cliffhangers like is she going to say yes just to fuck with them, get Sheila in prison, and then be like, no fucker, I, I still want um Carter. <laughs> oh, lordy. Drama. But I'm still, I, I meant to look that up. How old is Will supposed to be? Is he in boarding school or is he, I'm guessing he's not in college, because she mentioned something about him not being in college. But I guess, I don't know. I don't know. Should I even care about Will? Because I really don't really give a fuck about Wyatt or Liam. So. Hmm. But Liam and Finn had scenes together. Finn was letting Katie and Douglas use his stethoscope. Ses I can't say. <laughs> the thing the doctors use to listen to your heart. <laughs> I can't say words. It's because I'm hungry. I'm thinking about pizza. Anyway. <laughs> okay, that might be my dinner tonight. Anyway. <laughs> of course, you know, they're talking about Sheila and Thomas and stuff. And we got to see Thomas. He's been staying at Paris's place. And from their conversation, I guess that used to be Thomas's place, maybe? I don't know. But, you know, he was just thanking her for, um... Let him stay there. Um, he says he wants to repay her. Um, so she's like, so um, she's like, so you're gonna do the cooking, the cleaning, and the cooking. He's like, you said cooking twice. He's like, well, I like how you cook. And I'm like, yes, Paris. Um, that was good to have a good cook in your <laughs> living with you. <laughs> I cook the. A bare minimum, my husband's the better cook, but he's been working so much that he doesn't have time to cook. And I'm like, I just want good food, so I try to make good food. And uh, I guess it's decent. Neither one of us has gotten sick, and I haven't burned down the house, so yay! Or said I haven't set off this book alarm lately either. <laughs> but I swear, just a little teeny bit of smoke will set off the alarm. Anyways, <clears throat> they talk, um, he talks about how, you know, he was just trying to get his parents back together. <laughs> Paris is like, um, 
he did a little more than that. <laughs> yeah, and they're talking about um, Paris was supposed to be at the meeting for the Hope for the Future line. Um, Zenday took over for Thomas and Eric, and they were um, Eric was with Zenday in a um, what is the word I was looking for? Work basically working on the designs, <clears throat> and the Curtis was supposed to um, do reviews that day. They're waiting for reviews from the credits, and Zendaya's like, it just feels like he's um, designing in Thomas's shadow. Did I say what he said? Because I don't think that's what he said. Um, designing. Oh yeah, that's what he said. Look, look at me remembering words. Yeah, he's worried that the public isn't going to receive the line um, as well with out Thomas. So, yeah, they go in for the meeting and the um, Hope reads the review and the writer, <clears throat> the review writer was like kind of like nice, but like mean at the same time. <laughs> He's like, um, nice try, but Thomas is better, basically. I should have wrote down exactly what he says. <laughs> but Thomas was just talking about how he has designs done and ready to share for when everybody comes back, crawl my back itches, comes crawling back to him wanting for his help. And Hope's upset, and yeah, she, want <laughs> she was talking about wanting Thomas to come back and um yeah so he just went to Forster <laughs> to um yeah to get his job back basically he was talking to Hope and she said well it's not ultimately my decision you know because you know Steffi's the CEO and so Bridget's the other CEO so okay so I was wondering who the two CEOs were so I was like I have a feeling that it was Steffi and Verge, but okay, they made it clear that it is Steffi and Verge. And Thomas is just a designer, so he's not CEO. And he's not trying to be CEO because he's a designer. I'm guessing that's what it, that is. But anyways. So yeah, he goes and talks to um, Steffi about getting his job back. And, you know, Steffi basically was like, uh, no, you were, um, you know, you caused problems in Verge and Brooke's marriage, and then that you, um, broke their parents' hearts. And I'm like, um, Steffi, he's not the only one that did shit the fuck with Verge and Brooke's marriage. <laughs> you had a hand in doing shit like that, and ultimately, it's really Verge's fault. Also, because, you know, he wasn't up front with Brooke, you know. He just left her, didn't explain why he left her, you know. Not talking to your wife, that's stupid. So that just opened the door of so many problems and stuff, so. And Steffi, you know, you did shit too, so don't act all sweet and innocent. <laughs> uh, over. Oh, I said, really, I think you help with that also. <laughs> oh, Lordy goes and talks to Paris about, you know, coming back. And then, um, I forgot the guard's name, but he comes in and tries to kick Thomas out. Because <laughs> Thomas has snuck, he has snuck into the building. Thomas is like, well, my name is on the side of the building, so I can be here. And he's like, it's all I hear from your dad, otherwise... Your ass is gone, basically. So, <laughs> Thomas eventually left, and Hope was talking to Steffi about Thomas coming back, working remote and stuff, and Steffi basically just talked her out of it. <laughs> and was like, um, how would that work with the company, and, you know, her and Liam, you know, it's gonna mess up your marriage, and, you know, with Tom, with, um, with Douglas also, you know, Douglas is mad at his dad for what's going on. And Thomas is hurt that, you know, he lost his son and all of this. But I'm like, what did you expect? 
<laughs> oh lord and so hope is like yeah you're right i don't want to fuck up shit with my born ass husband <laughs> oh what well, i don't know why do you do that i mean that's that's basically what she that's basically what she said Yeah, so Hope agrees and drops it, so, but, um, as long as he did, he showed up with the, um, designs and was showing, um, Steffi, and she was on the phone trying to do damage control, so I'm like, lordy. <laughs> oh, I thought it was funny, Finn was talking about how Eric was having his afternoon, <laughs> afternoon pickleball game with, um, Donna. And I'm like, yes, I knew it. Pickleball is code for sex. <laughs> or I was like, are they still at the um, golf club or whatever? Or they're doing it at the mansion now? <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to stop laughing. Okay. Okay, I'm done. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm, okay, okay. I'm done laughing, I swear. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm wondering if they're going in um Paris and Thomas being a couple direction because I swear oh, Hope was at was it Hope or Steffi had asked Sunday. I was like it was Hope had asked Sunday if he was okay with um Everything was okay between him and Paris. And he said, yeah, they're just friends. And I'm like, I swear, on Christmas, he was talking about how they were back together. He did, like, a toast and everything. Sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to. Sorry, there's something on my computer. I don't know what that is. Anyways. Yeah, I swear he made an announcement and a toast. Um... Yeah, that's when everybody was doing the toast and um, Beth looked like she was about to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, I swear they said that they were back together as a couple. So now they're not. It was like they decided, yeah, let's put them back. But it was like, hold on, no, we need something for Thomas. So we're going to do Thomas in Paris. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. Well, that would definitely give Paris more airtime, so I'd be really happy about that. And I really did enjoy her scenes with Thomas this week. Um, you know, I've been watching for back watching for almost a year now, and never really got to see much of Paris besides her wanting Carter and then you know her modeling and stuff. So, but I really enjoyed. Um, that was like that was almost all week. Tuesday was it started Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Did I see each other Thursday? Or was that just Friday's episode? I don't know. But it was good to see her as much. And I do really like her and Thomas and scenes together. Um, I guess I could like them as a couple. Definitely. I'm really enjoying them as friends. See how that goes. Were they ever a couple before? Or had a thing going on before? But I think it'll be interesting. And also, I wonder if she would, like, try to help Thomas with getting back into Forster, like, take some of his designs and then, like, pass it, um, Hope's direction or something. I don't know. But we can see. But she's good friends with Hope, right? She's good friends with Hope, so. <clears throat> yeah, you never know. But, yeah. I still think it's stupid for them to fire Thomas for something he did in his personal life. I mean, like, it didn't really affect the company for what he was doing. I mean, fucked with people in the company, but I'm like, he's still a great worker, and his designs really helped Hope's um, line, and obvious it's just going to go down. Um, so basically, Thomas is the brains behind Hope's mind. Hope could do whatever she wants, but Thomas really brought the line to work, to light, and the hype that it is or it was now it's in trouble because you know they don't like Zenday's design. So I'm like I'm sorry Zenday, they like Thomas more. Just like Paris. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. 
<laughs> okay, um, okay, I'm done. I'm done talking. Um, let me know in the comments below what did you enjoy and didn't enjoy this week. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, and you can share this video for um, if only to make fun of the fact that I can't say stuff. Whatever that thing is. <laughs> Ses 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 I'm gonna shut up. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. Love you guys. Bye.